wonder who said that two months ago. Anyway, here are our picks for the week, sponsored by our good friends over at Home Field Apparel. Use the promo code Rafino Joe for 15% off. Joe, we just got done talking about Washington and USC. We didn't do this one live, but go check the video. Notre Dame, Clemson, Georgia, Mizzou, LSU, and Alabama. Let's start there. We flip-flop on the first one in USC and Washington, but are the same on all the others. Yeah, I stand by what I said earlier. I really do think that Washington just has that extra little bit of offensive juice to get them over the top to win that game. Um, the other one, I mean, we talked about Notre Dame. You know, we, we, we both agree that Notre Dame is catching Clemson when they're at their lowest. They're going to the win that game. The only thing with that one, the only thing, Clemson's in the top 50 in every statistical category, just like Notre Dame. The only one not being red zone offense. If, you, if Clemson is getting seven in the red zone, Notre Dame's in trouble. I'm telling you. It's a fair point. They're, Don't disagree. They're in trouble. Joe, I, I saw the uh, adjusted stat on that Notre on Clemson. The only game that they would have lost, the only one, you ready mm -hmm. for it? Florida State. The only one. If they did not turn the ball over or would have converted on their red zone uh, offensive tries, mm -hmm. they would have been in the same place, which even I don't agree with that because K. Klubnick, they went for it on fourth down and they missed against Florida State. They could. I do actually agree with Dabo. They are a, they are seven red zone trips away from being undefeated. That is nuts. That's also coaching and personnel. Right. They're, they're missing. They're missing 150 points at this point. Like that is yeah. a lot that you've missed on. That look. I, I, I'm not going to sit in here and dust justify Dabo. I'm not going to do it. But I just think if they're converting in the red zone you have a bigger issue on your hands than people are allowing to. Yeah. Uh, the two big matchups of the weekend, both of us taking Georgia over Mizzou and the primetime game of the week, LSU and Alabama. I can't believe you're doing it. You're taking the Tigers. And, uh, J if Jane Daniels goes into Tuscaloosa and wins and you don't come on this show Sunday and say he's leading the Heisman ticket, you will be banned for a week. Uh We'll see about that. We'll we'll see well, if he. Interesting. The two weeks that Brock Bowers have have pretty, pretty much been out. It's the games that Georgia's looked the best. Well, in. I took I took Didn't Brock Bowers off he my was the Heisman front runner. Ollie Gordon has replaced Brock Bowers on my Heisman list right now. Who's so, your number one? I don't have a number one. Nah, uh, it's bullshit. You would vote. I don't have a... Anyway, we yes. both pick Georgia. We both pick LSU. What's your reasoning for both? Uh, we talked about this, this Georgia, Missouri matchup. And I, I just think that Georgia is in steamrolling mode. They're in that position where they're not going to be slowed down until maybe they get to the sec championship game and they get challenged by somebody who is a competent opponent, not saying Missouri is not competent, but they do not match up well with the elite athletes that Georgia has. And then look, I'm sorry, LSU fans. Whenever I pick you guys, you seem to lose and vice versa last year versus Bama. That is true. Actually, maybe I'm wrong about that because I also picked I also picked, picked Florida, Florida State to win, yeah, and I got Florida that one State. right. You got, you're actually undefeated on your LSU picks. That's not true because I picked Missouri to beat LSU. No, you didn't. You picked LSU. Did I actually? Uh -huh. Yeah, you picked oh, LSU. Oh, LSU fans. I didn't, wait, really? Did I actually? Yeah. I'm going to go check. Yeah, you I need picked to go Ole check Miss, remember, you picked Ole Miss to beat LSU, and I called you nuts. Oh, that is correct. Yeah. My mem my memory's terrible, man. Um, I think again <laughs> it's kind of pissing me off, but then at the same time, you picking LSU here today makes me feel good. It, it's it sounds like I was intentionally leading you to admit that I was right, but hilariously, <laughs> I was not. I absolutely was not. My my memory is terrible. Again, matchups, matchups, matchups. I do do not think that Alabama is offensively equipped to keep up with that LSU team. Yeah, you said Brady Cook was ass. Remember? Was, it's still true. Oh, my God. Stop. All right. The other games, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Kansas State, Texas, UCLA, Arizona, Ole Miss, and TAMU. We are the, the bottom three. Sorry if, you, if you're not watching us, but we all pick the same. Joe, I got to admit two things. Number one, we just got done talking about Oklahoma State and Oklahoma. We're not going to do that one again. 
I really had a tough time today picking against my Arizona Wildcats. They have been winning your boys some money. I like the fighting Jeff Fish, Fish team. Mm -hmm. But UCLA, dude, by the way, talk about a top 10 defense. UCLA stand up top 10 in both rushing offense and a rushing defense and passing defense. How about that? Lietu Latu and the Murphy brothers have been a wrecking machine. I don't think that Arizona's offensive line is going to be able to hold them down. So neither. Yeah, the the UCLA pick is the easy one. This is not built like that I'm Oregon State Arizona, Arizona game. win. Uh, yeah, it's fun. You know, it's fun, but they're not going to. But speaking they're of not. a gut feeling, man, I I we as we just spoke about with Oklahoma 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 State, I think logically it makes sense to pick Oklahoma. I just can't explain it. It's just such a gut feeling like I had for Utah USC. It's a gut feeling, man. I think that they that they win this one. Can I give you a gut feeling that I have about another one of these games we just picked? Yeah. You ready to call me nuts? I mean, I do it every week. Ole Miss and A&M is technically a pick em. It shouldn't be. It should be. Can I tell you Why? Why? The last time that Ole Miss faced a D-line this good, LSU included, LSU wasn't mm. there, Alabama. I don't it's know. True. I do, Joe, I got it. When Jackson Dart starts getting hit by this big mm -hmm. D-line, what has Jackson Dart's problem been? My man, when he starts getting hit, starts playing really, really bad. Really bad. Well, I add to that, though. Against Alabama, it, they also have a really good secondary. Texas A&M secondary has not been good this year, and Very I think true. that if he gets them off, it's it's he's well. It's be why fine. I'm picking Ole Miss to win. It, it yeah. is the reason why I'm picking Ole Miss to win. But do not, do not sleep on this 11 a.m. game. I'm telling you, I, I, I feel it. I, I feel it right now. I could see I have it. a feeling like Phil Collins, man. But it would be an awesome matchup next week if Ole Miss does win, which I think that they will. Yeah. I what a great matchup! Georgia, Ole Miss, Ole Miss going to Athens. Can Kirby finally that's, win the big one? That's the same thing as Missouri versus Georgia. It's the same. It's just another bump in the road. It's just another notch How, in the belt. When you say stuff like that, it really makes me question if you actually like football. What do you mean? What does that have to do with anything? Well, we know the outcome. Why do we even watch it then? Oh, obviously we watch it because it's enjoyable to watch <laughs> Georgia just beat the shit out of Old Miss. That's why. I do think Georgia's going to beat the shit out of them. But yes, they will. I will tell you this. Something that I will keep an eye out on. If Eli Drinkwitz and company can find a, find a way to expose Georgia – a lot like what LSU did last year in the SEC championship game when they threw for 500. What did what did Ohio State do the very next game that Georgia played? They were running the same shit LSU was. Yeah. I do think that this benefits lane when you got to face back-to-back high-flying offenses like this, it can benefit you in a, in a great way. So all I will say is, Watch out for that game, okay, in two weeks. We'll talk about that one a lot. And it seems as if, Joe, over these last two, we've become apparently in the comments a Georgia podcast. Yeah, I mean, and it happens. When, so yeah, when you root, root for Georgia and you pick them to win, you're Georgia a Georgia fan. Homer. love us, dude. They, they love us. Like, I still don't think they like me. No, they don't. But you're from the, you're from the north. Welcome to the state of Georgia. Yeah. Did you know that the devil went down to Georgia one time? Yes, I'm familiar with that song. He was looking for a soul to steal. <laughs> All right. With these references. Hey, man, I love, I love song references. 